Hey guys, um, trying something new today, so bear with me if it looks kind of funky. Um, today I want to do my um, surgery update video. Um, I wanted to do it more closer to when I had the surgery, but unfortunately this has been a very chaotic week and I haven't been able to muster up the energy to do so. So today I do have the energy and I want to make sure that, you know, I get all the information that I need out there um, for you guys because when I was doing my, when I wanted to initially do the surgery, I you know went looking for any information on gastric bypass for gastroparesis and I went looking for stories and videos and I actually didn't find any and you know it's a it's a like a iffy thing for me because I can't really follow the gastric bypass people um because I have gastroparesis and then it's like because of the gastroparesis it makes the gastric bypass a little more I, not, I wouldn't say difficult but just different Okay, so I have my surgery um, May 1st, and today I am eight days post-op. Um, it has been a hellish week, let me tell you. Um, for the first couple of days after surgery, I pretty much slept a lot. Um, at the first three days, I wasn't really able to hold any liquids down. I wasn't able to hold anything down not even pain meds everything i had my pain pump because they give you a pain pump after surgery for three days because i just i couldn't deal um and i was throwing up like crazy so i went home on the fourth day after surgery third day after surgery but fourth day total um and you know it it my journey really started then um for those who are looking for gastric bypass information, um, when I had the surgery, I weighed 209 pounds. Um, eight days later, I weighed 199 pounds. Now, a lot of people might be telling me, wow, that's awesome and amazing. For me, it isn't. Mm -mm. I'm going to tell you why. Because I have gastroparesis, which is an incurable illness that paralyzes my stomach, um, losing weight too quickly means I'm not absorbing the nutrients that I need to absorb, meaning that I might have to go back on a feeding tube. So me watching my weight is very important at the moment, um, but unfortunately I'm on the stage one of the bariatric diet, which is like clear liquids and protein shakes. Um, so I'm really hoping that when I see my surgeon on Thursday, which is in two days, that um, she'll change me. She'll put me on a better stage so that I can start uh, losing weight a little more slower um, and, you know, actually try to absorb more nutrients. Right now I'm taking um, two multivitamins a day and then they're going to start me on, like, calcium and stuff like that afterwards due to the surgery. Um, so right now my diet consists of pretty much clear liquids all day and at least three to four protein shakes a day three to four four ounce protein shakes a day um i'm going to put the picture up in the corner to show you what my schedule looks like um for the way that i drink my liquids and to make sure that i'm getting in my 48 ounces of liquid a day on top of the protein shakes that i'm taking okay i will also show you the um pictures of like the protein shakes that i'm drinking at the moment um also you know the jello because I, I also do jello shots um and you know my handy dandy jug of water um that i drink and um i also am you will be seeing me sip on this this is the hold on this is the protein shake that i i'm drinking um this is pretty much it's um just four ounces of the skin plus and one scoop of protein powder. I do this, I try to do this four times a day. 
but I am getting in three times a day, which is about 75 grams of protein a day. They want you to do 70 to 100. Um, I'm doing 75 at the moment, but I'm trying to get a little more um, because I'm still healing from the surgery. And I also have an open wound from the jujanostomy tube that I have. Um, so that's pretty much why I'm trying to intake more protein. Um, okay, so the main thing that I need to say. This is one of the hardest things that I have ever done. This. Surgery is definitely definitely an eye-opener for anybody, whether you have gastroparesis or you don't. This is an eye-opener for anybody, especially someone who's used to eating food. See, I'm not used to eating food because of the gastroparesis, so it's a little easier for me, but it's still hella hard, okay? It's still really, really, really hard. So... They have, okay, so there's stages to this. So it's two, two weeks of clear liquids, two weeks of full liquids, two weeks of pureed, two weeks of soft or solid, and then you go into your solid food eating. Okay, um, right now I'm at the, um, I'm at the li clear liquid stage, which is mostly water, and then my protein shakes. I'm having a really hard time with that. I'm having a really hard time with that. And it's not because I don't want to eat. It's because I want to eat. And all I want, honestly, is like fish and vegetables. Like, I'm craving a really good piece of salmon and some, like, broccoli right now. And I'm a little... Oh, I'm so sorry about that. I'm a little bit annoyed that I can't have it. I understand why I can't have it because I just had surgery and it was on my stomach and they don't want the stitches, I mean the staples popping, you know, and I need to heal a little better before I start putting in heavier food like that. But it's difficult. Like, I'm going to tell you, today is the first day that I see the light or a little bit of a light, a little bit of a glimmer of a light at the end of the tunnel. It's been rough. I've cried. I've been depressed. I've regretted. Keyword. I've regretted this surgery. I literally told myself, what the hell did I do to myself? What is wrong with me? Why did I put myself through this knowing that I'm already fighting an incurable illness? Why? And then I have to go and I have to get all of that out. And then I have to stop and think and say to myself, I did this for quality of life. Okay. I was dying, like literally dying. I was barely tolerating my feeding tube. I wasn't getting any nutrients by mouth. I was losing weight drastically. It was like I already had the bypass and I was losing weight drastically. This was this opportunity was given to me as a chance to have a better future, you know, to be able to eat, to be able to hold on to the nutrients and to be able to have the energy to fight this incurable illness. Because at the end of the day, yes, I had surgery to remove a lot of my stomach, but I still have gastroparesis. I will always have gastroparesis. I'm never going to be cured from gastroparesis. This tool that they gave me is just a management for symptoms, okay? So that I can be able to eat something, whether it's fish and vegetables or, you know, whether it's soup or whether it's a protein shake and it's able to stay down and not throw it up. So the fact that I'm able to drink protein shakes and not throw it up, that to me is like the most amazing thing ever. Because when I tell you that I used to sit with my family and force myself to eat and then five minutes later throw it up in the toilet and it could have been a bottle of glucerna, it could have been a cup of water and I literally would just throw it up. And the fact that I'm able to drink a protein shake 
okay and not throw it up and it actually sits in my stomach and it doesn't bloat me up and it doesn't you know make me want to vomit that's amazing do i still have the nausea absolutely i will probably always have the nausea that's something that's just gonna have to be dealt with but as of right now i'm holding on to the little bits of hope that i have because this is a very dark time it's for me i'm in a depressive state right now i'm in a depressive mood um i'm trying my best to stay get out of it and this is the reason why i decided to do a video maybe that'll get me a um, more positive actually trying to help someone figure out whether they want to have this surgery for their illness you know um for their gastroparesis because at the end of the day that's why i did it i didn't do it for weight loss gastroparesis helped me lose weight all on its own I did it for quality of life, for me to be able to sit down and have a, a, a plate of food with my family, to be able to get nutrients in my body and not, you know, suffer and throw up and want to just fucking curl up and just not think about food anymore. Because at the end of the day, food is part of our life and that's just what gets us through. So as I said, it's it's difficult for me because I'm honestly getting bored of the liquids. Um, and I want something with texture and taste and something else. So I'm really hoping that the doctor will, you know, get, let me go up a stage or maybe two. Um, and see if I can hold down something else. You know, maybe I can hold down a bowl of mashed potatoes. That would be awesome. Maybe I can hold down an egg. I haven't eaten eggs in over a year. A year. And for a lot of you, you may think like, oh my God, it's just an egg. No, it's not just an egg. It's egg. It's food. It's something that I'm going to be able to hopefully hold down and be able to taste it and say, oh my God, like I'm feeding my body and I'm giving it healthy stuff, you know? And at the end of the day, that's why I did this. Do I regret it? There are days that I regret it and I say, what the hell did I do to myself? But then days like today where I'm able to drink a protein shake and I'm actually able to chug down 48 ounces of water and not throw up, I'm like, I like this. I like this, you know. Um, the weight, of course, scares me. But at the end of the day, my husband reminds me every single day that I something I always used to say to him, you can't live in fear. You just have to do it. You just have to decide for yourself whether it's something worth it. Some days for me it's not worth it. Some days it is. The times that it's not worth it is when I smell my kids cooking and stuff like that. But you know what? With me getting this surgery, my family jumped on the healthy bandwagon and they love it. They have a menu set out for them every week, which I do. And they're eating broccoli, they're eating corn, they're eating vegetables, they're eating baked foods, they're not even eating fried foods anymore, you know, and they're enjoying it and I'm enjoying it knowing that I did something to take a step to show my family that we can be better, you know, that gastroparesis isn't going to rule our life forever. Now here's the reality of it. This is an illness that I have to live with. This is an illness that rears its ugly head every opportunity that it gets. Okay? And the day of surgery, the day when I was being discharged, I thanked my doctor for doing this. And she said, don't thank me yet. We're not out of the woods yet. And I said, what do you mean? And she goes, you can still get worse. You can still end up back on a feeding tube because you can't tolerate anything. Let's wait until you get to that stage and then we're going to we're going to start um celebrating and we're going to start saying, "Oh my god, it's an amazing time." And reality hit me that this is not the easy way out. This is not just going to I have surgery one day and the next day I'm going to be eating fish and vegetables and and be able to hold it down so I take it day by day and I suggest that everybody else does and I know a lot of you are wondering what 
the whole surgery that I had because I was supposed to have so many things done. So what my surgeon was able to do was the um, gastric bypass, which she made my pouch bigger so that I can be able to hold a little more food in and not lose weight so quickly. She was able to remove the jejunostomy tube, which was my feeding tube. Um, she was able to resect my intestines. What she wasn't able to do due to a lot of scar tissue was um, remove my um, stimulator. She wasn't able to remove that, so I still have that. Um, and she wasn't able to um, put in the G-tube, which was the gastric tube for the um, stomach that was removed that's still in my body. Those are the two things that she wasn't able to do, but she was able to do a majority of it. Um, I haven't needed any pain meds for the surgery um, since I got home. I haven't really felt pain there. I do have a wound, an open wound, so they've been doing wound care on that, you know, and um, trying to get stuff together for that. And... Um, what else I'm just try not to forget anything um it's this surgery is a real mental game just like gastroparesis is you have to be mentally strong to go through it because it will break you it will make you think that you will never get better it will make you think that you will never see the light at the end of the tunnel it will make you think that what the fuck did i do and excuse the language but what did I do to myself and it's the same thing that gastroparesis does so it's like oh my god like am I gonna get any better like why do I continue putting myself through these different surgeries and different treatments and I do it for my family I do it for myself I do it to be able to be that person to say you know what it worked for me it might work for you and that's why I do it so I'm really hoping that, you know, this cert, this video can help you guys um, hopefully make a decision. I'm going to try to make weekly videos on my update, especially after I see my doctor, um, so that you guys can get a better handle of it. I'm also probably going to do it when I start e being able to um, try to tolerate more foods and see where we go from there. Um but I definitely want the information out there for for it to help anybody, for it to be the voice for anybody. So I hope everybody has a great day and I hope that you guys can learn something from this. If you have any questions about anything, about the bypass, about the gastroparesis, please comment below. Um, if you like my video, subscribe to my channel. Um, I try to get as much information as the, about the gastroparesis out there as I can, um, and I will still definitely continue to do that um, on this journey now with the gastric bypass. It, it, it's a journey, and it has its bumps, and it has its, you know, good spots and bad spots, and it's all on us on how we take it. So I hope everybody has a wonderful day, and I hope to see you soon. Bye.